KX Sports has been covering volleyball all season long, and a couple of weeks ago I noticed how fast the attacks were from some of the players. So I decided to go around and test just how fast those attacks came. First, let's set the parameters for this experiment. I went to the five Class A volleyball schools in the Bismarck Mandan area. I asked each coach for at least four hitters. I recorded at least three speeds for each athlete. I stood on the court where the 10 foot line and the out of bounds line meet. I recorded readings as volleyballs came toward my direction. Here's what I found. Let's start with the defending state champs. Century had five girls participate. Sophomore Haiti Fitterer recorded the top kill at 37 miles per hour. She also had the highest average at 34. Over at Legacy, Jenna still also had five hitters. Senior Caitlin Emmel put a ball down at 41 miles per hour. She also had the top average at 40. At St. Mary's, five players also went through the experiment. Senior Taylor Gervin hammered one down at 38 miles per hour. She also had the team best average of 35. Down the street at Bismarck High, junior middle hitter Olivia Dickerson registered a 35 as the top strike on the team. Junior outside hitter Macy Wetch had the best average at 32. Finally, the Mandan Braves sent six hitters to be tested. The Braves had a tie for the fastest attack. Seniors Megan Zander and Sydney Walters both topped out at 35 miles per hour. Mandan's most consistent hitter was junior Lakin Darris. As we look at the team results, Legacy registered the top team average at 34 miles per hour. The Sabres also had the top hitter with Caitlin Emmel at 41. All right, this was a really fun story. I really enjoyed doing it, but I have to make one interesting note. I did find that balls further away from the radar gun registered a lower reading than when balls came closer to the radar gun. 